The Story of the Medulla Women Before watching this video please see my another video The Story of the Personified Vetus. Material relationships are based on lust desire only which cannot be compared with Lord Krishna's pastimes. Lord Krishna is free from material defects of possessiveness, false ego and free of the modes of material nature. Lord Krishna serve his devotees in reciprocation according to their desires. Sri Narada Muni explains to Sri Bahulashva, the story of the Maidala women that become Gopis, a story that brings the result of visiting sacred Das Hashvain de Tirtha, a story that increases one's love for Lord Krishna. Because of Lord Ramachandra's benediction, they took birth in the homes of the nine Nandas. When they saw handsome Krishna, they became bewildered with love for him. During the auspicious month of Margashursha, November to December, they observed the vow to worship goddess Katiayani. They made a clay deity of the goddess and worshipped her with sixteen offerings. Singing Lord Krishna's glories as they went, every morning they would bathe in the Yamuna's waters. Once, placing their garments on the river bank, the girls of Raja, played in the Yamuna's waters, splashing each other with both hands. Coming there that morning, Lord Krishna silently stole their garments and climbed a Kadamba tree, not seeing their clothes, the Gippas were surprised. When they saw Krishna on the tree they shyly smiled. From the tree, Krishna said, all who wish their garments, come here and take them. If you do not come, I will not give them. Bowing their heads as they stood in the cold water, the smiling girls spoke. The Gippas said, O handsome son of Nanda, O jewel of the Gopas, O young swan in the Gopa dynasty, O destroyer of sufferings, O handsome dark one, how can we follow your order? We are your maid servants, but we have no clothes. You are a thief of butter and thief of Gippiskans. You are a fearless rake in the village of Raja. Give us our garments. If you don't we will tell King Kamsa, the ruler of Mathura, the evil you have done here. The Supreme Personality of God had said, O oh sweetly smiling girls, if you actually are my maidservants, and if you actually want your garments, then come to the roots of this Kadamba tree. If you do not come, I will bring all these garments to your homes. Because I will do that you should follow my orders without delay. Shivering with the cold, bowing their heads, and covering their pubic areas with both hands, all the Gippas emerged from the water, taking their garments from Krishna, all the girls of Raja dressed themselves. Bewildered with love, they shyly gazed at Lord Krishna. Aware of the great love in their hearts, Krishna gently smiled. Placing his eyes on all of them, he spoke. The Supreme Personality of God had said, to attain me, during the month of Margashar Shah you followed a vow to worship Goddess Katiayani. Your vow will bear its fruit. The day after tomorrow, on the Yamuna's beautiful shore, I will enjoy with you a Raza dance that will fulfill all your desires. After speaking these words, Lord Krishna, the perfect Supreme Personality of Godhead, left. Then all the Gopis, gently smiling and their hearts filled with bliss went to their homes. All scriptures teach only one thing, the ultimate goal of life should be Lord Krishna. We come to this material world due to our desire to enjoy, we marry to enjoy our senses, but the senses are never satisfied, and we suffer life after life. If the same desires if we have for Lord Krishna our life will be successful and Lord Krishna will never disappoint us. Whenever I upload new video, I update homepage glories of Holy Dhamma of my website vatikindustan.org and also under menu. You can also press the YouTube subscribe button to receive notification. I am thankful to my subscribers and viewers for their support in my small devotional service for Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. All glories to Sri Sri Guru and Sri Sri Goranga.